That should not be making that sound. All right, let's open this sucker up. I did check the motor brushes recently, so they should be fine. Maybe something's just stuck in here. Ah, oh, I need a bunch of hex. Well, I need a hex key for that, right? Take out all the brush springs. Do not drop those, Jamie. Brushes are all nice and loose. Right, if I turn the propeller, I'll turn the motor. See if I can hear where the squeakiness is coming from. Oh, I think I need to take the whole motor off, which is a pain. I have to take, a, take out a bunch of bolts under here and then pull the whole thing out and it'll have like a long shaft that goes all the way down here. Easy to get out, a bit more of a pain to get back in. Because, you know, I just have to thread it through down here and hit the right spot. Well, I guess it's a good thing I'm getting those out now. In another year, they might not come out. I'll coat them with oil before I put them back in. Back on. Did I miss a screw? I did. Maybe. No, I think it's just stuck. Come on. Dude, seriously, what's going on? Apparently, there's something somewhere down here that's holding on to this thing. I thought it was just a thing that slid out. I, I haven't opened this in years, though. Oh, I think I might have to take all the bolts out of this and just take off this housing so I can see down there. Or the, ah. I probably have a video of myself putting this thing together. Oh, I don't feel like... What would I rather do? Search through my videos or just open that. I'm just going to open that stupid thing. Huh. Okay, this one is attached at the bottom different than the other one I'm thinking of. And there is one thing I can fix very easily. <laughs> this has a, this hole here has a tap in it. And I vaguely remember this. I was tapping the hole so I could put a bolt through there and uh, the tap broke and then it's been there, there ever since. But now it's rusted enough that it's loosened up. I think I can get it out. Well, I kind of wrecked the end of one of these to do it. It's okay, I can, I can fix it. But I got the thing out. Oh, okay, I got the stupid thing off. It was even threaded into here. And now I remember making the threads on this. That was a pain. Now, this is basically a big fat magnet <clears throat> that goes around this part. Man, it was hard to get off because it's really magnetically strong. Anyway, this rectangly thing here shouldn't be here. It should be right there. Like lined up with this one. And there's another one over here that's messed up. <sighs> I gotta get them all back in place and hope some kind of glue I have. I think that's dried out. Arr. Hopefully I can glue them back in place. Yeah, there's one glued in place. Four minute epoxy, so it shouldn't take long. Alright. Clean this guy. Man, these things are tough. They're neodymium magnets. I'm going to need both hands for this. Okay, I wiped it off with alcohol, filed it to make sure there's no bumpy edges or anything.
Nice thing about this is it magnetically holds itself in place. So I don't have to hold it to let the glue cure. Already sounds better. Let's get everything back together. Okay, what was up here? Yeah, those, those guys. Yeah. Huh, where did all these other screws go? All right, yeah, all this stuff. Every screw gets dipped in oil before it goes back in. See how we did here. Well, that sounds about right. Part of the noise is just the rough gears down there because, uh, this was a used thing. It was actually in the garbage. All right, let's give it a quick water test. Oh, this thing hasn't sounded that good in a while. Great. All right, here's your bucket hat. We have some extra screws. I don't think I really needed those. So I left them out. Alright, that's it. Everybody clean up and go home. Oh man. I start this thing with like three tools, and then get a few more, and then a few more, and now I just... So much stuff. I've got a bad case of SMS. So much stuff. <laughs>